folks, a short stream this evening, just a very short one. Completely impromptu, completely unannounced. Just felt like it, so we will do that, if you don't mind. And a little bit of Hearthstone. We're still playing on ladder, and we're still playing gimmicks. We're gonna play the Secrets deck, though. Let's see how that goes. Should be good, I think. You know, I should really connect Twitter so that it automatically tweets this stuff. That would make things a lot easier. Yeah, I need to do that tomorrow. Alright. Priest. Man, if he steals from me, this is going to get really annoying really fast. Mm, yeah. Toss those three. That's a bit better. I like that. We've got the Mana Worm Coin Mirror Image combo. Ooh, damn. Secret Keeper, too. Cool. Such an ember opening. There we go. Yeah, won't be around for too long tonight. I always feel for priests on turn two. Like, you drop just everything in the universe on them, and they're like, I heal you. It's all their fault. I just picked the wrong class. Oh no, thought steal. Oh god, this could be anything. Okay. This is a really, really scary board. And mirror entity there, which gives us buff and buff, bang and bang. Yeah, this is a really, really strong board, and I had coin as well, so even if he was... I mean, actually, if... Oh, wow, Pyro, which I am going to get a mirror entity of. What's his follow-up? Oh, he's going to wild Pyro and mirror image me. What a son of a bitch. <laughs> Look at that. All that damage. Well, I could also wild Pyro, which would result in a lot of my stuff dying... Hmm, but it does result in a lot of his stuff dying, too. He's gonna hold in over me next turn, I imagine, so it doesn't really matter what my stats are right now, I think. So, yeah, I think we do that, and we do maximum damage before he kills all of our stuff. There we go, so throw down a mirror entity, which is gonna blow up all that. Attacking first would have made no difference, because he had taunts, and then we hit him in the face for maximum. Take him down to nine, and then he's gonna hold in over us. And then we go from there. And if he doesn't hold Nova, then that's GG. Secret. No Holy Nova? Interesting. Hmm, wonder what... Okay, well, let's throw the least valuable thing we've got at it first, then. Is that an ice block? Or... Oh, he's just dead. Okay, well... <laughs> Maybe I was overthinking it very slightly. Crushed. Oh my god. This is like my fourth win in a row with the All Secrets deck. I'll show you the All Secrets deck before I continue. I'll show you what's in it. So this should, in theory, be extremely bad. But I I've played a little bit of this before. I haven't done a full video on it. But yeah, this is the Mass Secrets deck, so it's every secret for mages. I can't wait for the expansion so I can add more secrets. Counter Spell, Ice Barrier, Ice Block, Mirror Entity, Spellbinder, and Spellbender, in fact, not Spellbinder, and Vaporize. Kieran Tall Mage and Ethereal Arcanist to feed off that. Gadgets on Auctioneers to get card draw in the later game once you're tossing down stuff like this. An Archmage Antonidas so that I can turn these into fireballs for a finisher. And the opening is generally Mirror Image, Mana Worms, and Secret Keepers. And this Blood Mage Thanos, I'm not really sure about. Like, I had a Nat Pagel there, but that was from before they nerfed Nat Pagel. So, I I replaced him with Blood Mage Thalnos. He doesn't really do anything. Like, the spell damage doesn't trigger on any of these. But he is card draw and a creature. I'm, frankly, with Thalnos, I'm probably better off with... I don't know, would I be... No, I mean, I wouldn't be better off with a novice engineer, I don't think. I think Blood Mage Thalnos is decent enough, just for like, like last filler. 
Yeah, and Sorcerer's Apprentice to make things like these cheaper. And of course, that's a key component of the Fireball spam for Archmage Antonidas. So, yeah, that's it. That's what it looks like right now. It's mostly just about confusing people and having a fun time. If it wins, even better, but it does have some decently strong openings. And it's got a decent enough late game if you can make Antonidas count. If you can't, then you're dead. But, yeah, we'll see. We will see. It's a fun deck, though. A lot of fun. The list for that, although it's slightly outdated, I think it needs to be... I need to change it, is on Hearth Pwn. Okay, Secret Keeper, Sorcerer's Apprentice, Spellbinder. Uh, since we're going first, it's kind of worth just keeping that. If I was going coin, I might try and toss to try and get a Mana Worm combo. But since I'm not, I'm just going to keep it. I can open up with a Secret Keeper. Which can be killed. I mean, it can kill, be killed by a Holy Smite, but it's nice to have out. Put a bit of pressure down, get the Sorcerer's Apprentice down. And then start to buff the Secret Keeper up if it lives that long. Nice thing about the Secret Keeper is how cheap it is. Like, if you have a Secret in your hand, you can just drop the Secret Keeper and immediately play the Secret. And it doesn't cost very much. And then you've got a 2-3 for 1, which is really, really good value. Did I watch Summer Games done quick? Well, I didn't watch all of it. A lot of it's pretty boring, but I watched some of it. I watched, like, the playthrough of uh, I Want to Be the Boshi. And a couple of other really hard games. The Portal one was really impressive, actually. It was the amount of bugs they were able to exploit in that one. Most of it I didn't watch, though. It was, like, some of the... I think some of the speedruns of the newer games where it's obvious that the game is really hard to speedrun properly. Like, it's like, let's do uh, A Link Between Worlds. Speedrun, two and a half hours. I'm like, no, I'm not watching that. I do not care. I watched a bit of La Milana, but the problem is I don't, I've never played the game, so I don't actually have any context. So as a direct result, there was kind of no real point in watching it. It's always best to watch stuff that you've played. Oh, I mean, you know, there's, there's some stuff that's obviously impressive, like a lot of the Mega Man runs. But outside of that, is he AFK? He might be, actually. He spent a long time picking. Yeah, 7 up Paper Mario run. It's like, no, I'm not going to watch Paper Mario for 7 hours. It's kind of the same as, you know, even though I like StarCraft, I don't like watching the StarCraft campaign runs because they're always really damn long. Like, there's there's not much you can do to do things faster, really. So, you know, kind of what is the point? Okay, we can get a free mirror image out of that. I don't see why not. Priest obviously doesn't have AoE ability at this stage of the game, so... No reason not to play it while I can. Only reason I'd want to have held on, I think, is if I was going to pull a mana worm out. I'm just going to heal himself. Okay, cool. Well, we can throw out a Spellbender or an Ice Barrier. Oh, damn it! <laughs> Should have seen that one coming in my way. At least I can get mana worm and then Spellbinder follow up. Should have held on to that, maybe. Thinking, no, 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 I'll, I'll never draw a Mana Worm next turn. Well. Yeah, because I, I could have really held on to it. Because the chances are the... The Sorcerer's Apprentice was going to survive. So we have to watch out for... Potential problems with Holy Nova next turn. Because he still has coin. So if I can buff these two little guys up a little bit further. That should be fine. Oh, there's the Holy Smite. Nope. No Holy Smite for you. And embarrassingly enough, Spellbender actually survives the Holy Smite. <laughs> Sucks to be you. Oh, I have another Holy Smite. Okay. 
All right, you really wanted rid of that damn thing, didn't you? Okay, all right. Well, you tried. I'll give you credit for that. Spellbender is here, and we can drop Secret Keeper and Ice Barrier, which is fantastic. Look at this. Like, there's some pretty sick synergy going on. Secret Keepers are an absolutely amazing minion. So underrated. I love to throw them at Hunter decks now. Like, even if you just got a few traps, just a few, they're so amazing. I actually like to run a Paladin deck with uh, eight secrets and a bunch of Secret Keepers. That, I think, would work pretty well. Because they're so cheap. Shadow of Pain. What are you going to hit with that? My 3-4? Ooh. Ouch. That's unpleasant. Shame I didn't have a second Spellbender down for that one. Okay, so... I don't know. He he might have... I still think Holy Nova would have been okay there. Would have taken out, like, two things. But I'm trying to think if he has a Holy Nova or not. Ooh, Ethereal Arcanist. Absolutely beautiful draw. Gotta love that one. So that's going to be a 5-5. Five, five. Which, of course, means it's going to get Shadow of Death, most likely, but that's good. You know, if he throws a Shadow of Death on that, that's one less he can throw at Antonidas later. But yeah, if he Holy, Holy Nova's now, he gets the 1-1 one, one and the 2-0-2s, zero, but he doesn't kill the 3-3, three, three, and he's... Or the 2-3, or the 5-5. Five, five. Coin into Cabal Shadow Priest. Ooh, that's nasty. That's a bit nasty. I really would have preferred you didn't have that. I'm going to have to kill that off, I'm afraid. My apologies. And we need to get rid of that 4-5 as well. No, get, rid get rid of that before we play any other spells. So I'm kind of setting myself up here a little bit for a Holy Nova, but I've just thrown down a counter spell. So he's about to have a very bad day if he decides Holy Nova is good here. We will see. I hope he Holy Novas. I will be so happy if he Holy Novas right now. Because he's, he's dead if he does, basically. Come on. Look at it. Just look at that board. Look at how... Yes! Yes! <laughs> ah! So good. Oh, well, that's not very nice. He he denied me lethal, at least for the time being. Oh, that was so, so good. Okay, well, all right, you survive another turn. That buffs himself right back up. He, he ain't going to take it down. He is the best around. Well, he's in a lot of trouble. It's going to be difficult for him to come back from this. Let's see what he's got. Thought steel. Okay. I don't think you're going to find it. I don't know. He might find an ice barrier in there. An ice block, maybe. This is the longest I've ever seen a spellbender live, by the way. Generally speaking, they don't live very long. Oh, and a second thought steal. Okay, well, that's not going to find you any answers, I'm afraid. Mirror image. Well, that does actually allow you to live. But I do have Archmage Antonidas. So he's going down. That's kind of irritating that he, he managed to... There we go. Okay, thank you. He was just kind of hanging on for dear life. You've got to give the guy credit for that, I suppose, but... I am very surprised that I'm winning with this deck. Very surprised. Let's get a little bit higher. Interesting. I don't recall actually playing a shaman with this deck before. Alright, okay, so we can keep the Kirin Tor Mage, we can toss these two. That's not a good hand. That's not even close to being a good hand. Need a mana worm. 
Secret Keeper's okay, I suppose. Decent enough for knocking over totems, but I'm not going to be able to buff that. So. Alright, so he does nothing. Okay. And obviously I do nothing as well. Other than hit him in the face with two. And then we can go Kirin Tormage into Ice Block, which is awesome for setting up Ethereal Arcanist on turn four. And it looks like we're going to get away with that. Sweet, and we're going to kill his Wrath before he's able to do anything with it, which is fantastic. Sweet, so Kirin Tormage goes down, which gets us a free secret. We play the one that can't be removed, because that makes Ethereal Arcanist super powerful, and we actually have double Ethereal Arcanist. That's going to be pretty good. We can drop a 5-5 five five on turn 4 and a 5-5 five five on turn 5, and they're going to keep growing unless he does something with it, so... Okay, well, he's been holding on to cards. I wonder if he's got a Twilight Drake. Frost Shock? People put Frost Shock in their decks? That's a new one. I haven't seen that. Ever, actually. It's a bit of a weird choice. Interesting. A little logic behind that is. It's kind of just one of those let's delay you for very cheap cards. I definitely see Earth Shock as being fantastic, but I'm not so convinced by Frost Shock. Alright, sweet, so we drop the Ethereal Arcanist, and we're just going to knock over that healing totem. So that gets us 5-5. Five five. We'll start applying pressure soon, let's see if he's got a Hex. Hearthstone expansion is supposed to be July for the first thing, oh there's his Hex, okay. Kind of annoying, but that was one hex. He probably doesn't have another one, and my second Ethereal Arcanist is coming out right after, so I'm not too worried about that. There we go. Another Ethereal Arcanist, and then we hit him in the face with six. And he gave me a nice little handy taunt. Coin into what? Ah, oh, Fire Elemental. Okay. Oh, that's fine. I don't mind. The taunt's going to hold that up for a while anyway. Alright. So, we're kind of playing... Since I don't have a counter spell, it's a bit risky to drop my entire hand. So, I'm not going to. Because I'll drop a loot hoarder, but I'm not going to drop the rest of my hand because it's too it's way too much lightning storm Possibility I could drop another ice barrier here. Would I benefit from doing so? Yeah, I Think so, but I'll leave everything else and Then we're gonna just go for the face because that fire elemental is gonna run itself into that zero one hopefully And then we can fight it next turn. Oh, ah, oh, fuck me. Ah, oh, double fuck me. All right. I just got thoroughly shamaned. Oh, that was painful. And I didn't have a vaporize either, so couldn't kill our fire elemental. Fuck. Ouch, that hurts so much. Okay, we have Antonidas, but he will die pretty much immediately if we drop him on the board. It's still a two-for-one unless he uses a... Actually, it's, it's a two-for-one whatever, though. I'm tempted to drop Antonidas. It's it's a sensible play. I don't get the cards out of it, but it is a two-for-one trade minimum. So I don't really see a reason why not. If he's got something like a lightning bolt, he'll throw the five set. He'll throw the four-two into the five-seven. I can't really sit there and take... I don't know, maybe I could sit there and take 11 damage, but... I can't really wait until turn 10 to start dropping Antonidas. Two, four, followed up by, what, Lightning Bolt? There, you, there it is. Yep, Lightning Bolt, then run the four, two in. Wish it had a counter spell. Fuck. Okay, maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Auctioneer. Can't use it. I already have an ice block up. Uh, yeah, I'm royally fucked right now. Shit. 
I need like vaporize stuff like that. I'm not getting any of it. Yeah, I'm screwed. I completely lost board control. Counter spell. I can drop Auctioneer, then Counter Spell, and just hope for the best, but that's really all I'm getting right now, I think. I could drop the Mana Worm, but again, it would be killed very quickly. I don't think I have a choice, though. I've got to do something. That gets me the Vaporize that I needed two turns ago. Oh, that's the counter spell. Okay, so that shuts that down. But that is only one card and one mana we just burned through. He probably has another one, knowing him. Ah, uh, yep, he does. Fucking Shaman. Oh, fuck my life. Yeah, we're fucked. We are totally fucked. In the worst possible way. It was going so well! Well, I guess we throw down our hand. Yep, that wasn't going to save us. <laughs> yeah, we're sort of boned. I don't know how many fireballs in the deck. Ah, yeah, that's GG. Fireballs only come from Antonidas, and we did not... Well, we did kind of trade Antonidas, but... Yep, that big game hunter completely fucked me over. Absolutely screwed me. As soon as that thing ticked over to seven attack, he was able to kill me immediately. And then I had no chance. Ouch. That was rough. And it was going well. It really was. A warrior. Alright. Any thoughts on... I did like a 10 minute SoundCloud on that, so if you want my thoughts, it's right there. I don't think any of them should be surprising to you. Hmm. Damn, I should have mulliganed harder for the combo but this does allow me to go coin sorceress apprentice which means a turn two secret so we could do that it also means a turn two kill of that if he runs the one one into it he might have slam he might oh he's got an axe well whatever okay there's that too, I suppose. Not so much for my turn two secret. Not that it would have really mattered. None of the secrets I've got are actually good for turn two. We'll, we'll just ping that. Yep, it's good to follow the SoundCloud if possible. It is possible. Yeah, it absolutely is. If you go to SoundCloud, you can just follow the account and that's going to email you every time there's a new SoundCloud up. I have set up Twitter to start to order tweet that stuff now, but it's not quite there yet. All right, Mirror Entity here is okay. He's got very low damage on the board. We don't want to trigger any more card draw. He might be dropping something like a Yeti right now, which would be really nice. Frothing Berserker, that would be nice too. I'd take those. Yeah, so he's looking for Vaporize. Plays an Armani Berserker. That's not the worst thing that ever happened. But he is now going to kill it with the axe, so it doesn't actually matter. And we can't play the Ethereal Arcanist either. Probably should have just played the Counter Spell, because I could have gone turn 4 Arcanist. Well, this is not brilliant, is it? Not really. 
So we don't want to play anything too weak. Vaporize is a really bad call here. Jen's freaking out about something. Hello, oh yes, they, they just announced there's going to be a sequel to Pacific Rim, which is fantastic. Really happy about that. They absolutely deserved it. Um, I think we just leave the board empty for the moment. I'm just trying to toss out some of the early stuff, like... Maybe it's a good idea to get rid of Loot Hoarders and replace them with Azure Drakes. Like, they have a bit more synergy in the late game, and they're a pretty good creature. So, that's an idea. Alright. So, I think we go... We're gonna go Ice Block and then Ethereal Arcanist the turn after. And throw down the Mirror Image just to... Delay a bit of damage coming our way. I am not a fan of this track. Let's find something better. Hmm. Yes, no, maybe? No. 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 Oh, we can play some tribes music. There we go. Let's have some of that. Okay, cool. So that held up about six damage. So I could drop the Ethereal Arcanist. It's not a good time for Vaporize. I think Ethereal Arcanist and ping the Loot Hoarder, probably. He is flooding the board. I wish I had board...